All right, so I've been getting lots of questions on uh, how I made this tug for my airplane. So I decided to just put together a, a quick video here just to answer some of your questions anyway. So the whole unit is mainly made up of this uh, square stock right here. So that's one and a half inch square stock that I made the frame from. Uh, just cut these pieces right here on a 45 degree angle, drilled some holes in it, added some, uh, some tubing right here, just goes right in through, welded a nut on right here, just so I could put the, you know, just hold this guy in place right here. Um, if I would have had my time back, something I would have done differently here is I would have made this piece right here a little bit longer so that uh, this piece right here wouldn't be quite so close. It's never touched or anything, but uh, still, I would have liked to have it a little bit longer. Um, so this right here is one and a half inch square tubing steel. This right here is one and uh, yeah, one and a half, one and a quarter um, angle iron. And I just used angle iron here just so it'll be easier to bolt the motor on. Um, coming up here again, I just fish milked this piece right here. Uh, a friend of mine did all the welding for me. And in order to transport it from my house to the hangar here, I, uh, I made it so that this handle comes off. So this is just you know, one and a quarter, I guess, uh, squared stock that goes into there. Uh, so basically what I did right here, this is just a household electrical box. I painted it black. Um, added this little gizmo right here. So this right here is uh, the main power. All the way up like this is, uh, you know, it, the unit goes this way. It's kind of a neutral. Switch all the way back, and you end up walking backwards with this thing right here. So one modification that I added a little while ago is uh, this guy right here. So I, I used to have to loosen this guy right here manually, and then pull this in and out to attach it to the, the nose wheel here. But that was getting to be a pain in the butt, so I just uh, whittled up a little piece of aluminum here so that I could uh, attach this electric actuator. And now I can just move it and attach it, detach it uh, while I'm standing up by the handlebars. Um, so these are just pillow block bearings I bought at Princess Auto. They're pretty cheap. Um, get them pretty much any hardware store. This is a motor shaft. That was also pretty inexpensive. So one of the things that I did a little bit differently um, is I added, so this tire right here is also, this tire and wheel combo, also came from Princess Auto. I bought it on sale for, I don't know, it was 30 bucks or something like that. Um, I added these collars right here and had those welded to the wheel. So I could lock the, the wheel down onto the shaft, keep it from sl being sloppy, going back and forth. Uh, see what else? Oh yeah, we got the, how I attached the gear. So the, the gear, I, I just took a little, little piece of leftover one half inch tubing right there, cut it on 45 degree angles on either side just to keep it from interfering with the, the chain itself. Um, took the tire off the rim, had it welded to the rim. You can see the, the welds that we got there. Um, uh, 
inside there you'll see that collar again right there another collar on that side um, and then I just bolted on this uh, this gear that I got off of Amazon so it's a 44 tooth gear I believe and it goes to right here I'm not, I don't remember what that is 14 tooth gear or something maybe less um, this is a 350 watt uh, scooter motor that you you can get them on eBay or Amazon uh, I bought the brushless one the brushless just makes it pretty easy to use one of these switches up here to reverse the polarity that's the idea behind it um, and this motor is a 24 volt motor so I got two 12 volt batteries inside of here in series um, the motor controller I mounted underneath right here so you can see this Chinese piece uh, here's my switch right here that I have to operate the uh, electric actuator this guy right here tells me this is the voltage that's in the batteries right now so it's fully charged and that's a thumb throttle like a snowmobile or a quad anyway um, took me a couple of days probably about 300 bucks total to, to get all the parts if I had to do it over again a couple of things I would change I would make this a 450 watt motor and I would make this right here a little bit longer probably you know, not a lot longer probably four, four more inches or so but uh, yeah that would that would be plenty uh, we got a little bit of an incline here coming out of the hangar and the 350 watt motor does struggle a little bit it's effective and uh, certainly saves my back you know dragging around a 2500 pound airplane but uh, yeah it does the job it's uh, it's pretty easy to build and doesn't break the bank some of the ones that I saw commercially available ones were to three thousand dollars US and that wasn't going to happen so being able to build this from right here for about 300 bucks Canadian including all the steel and the parts oh yeah this I guess I should say this right here is just a regular bicycle chain and uh, that gear I think that gear cost me like 20 bucks or something on Amazon it, it, it's all pretty cheap parts all Chinese made crap so um if you got any questions you can put them down in the in the comments and <laughs> I, I haven't been very responsive to comments uh in the past but i'll, I'll try to get better Bye.